Ah, and now it's time for a reunion with the man himself. The one, the only, Chonk. Hey, 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 hold on a minute there. I'm afraid you are committing a 351. That's trespassing on private property. I'm gonna have to ask that you vacate the premises immediately, or I'm afraid I'll be forced to radio this in. Your mind will shatter on the hollowness of your life. Your blood runs sweet with jelly pastries. Still, I'm gone. I will stand here all night, speak to your radio. Ah, I see. Atlantic. You must be one of those, uh, Our derelict types. Dreams. Forgot to take your medicine today, huh, did you? Listen, you go over to the homeless shelter a few blocks over, and they'll fix you up with a cheese sandwich and a glass of Kool-Aid. Your mind will shatter on the hollowness of your life. No, it can't be. I'm useless. I'm completely useless. Suffer and perish. Pain slays Abel. Pain cursed by God. Pain meets Lilith. Pain spurns Lilith. Threw me off the first time I did this because like a normal person, I spurn people before I meet them. It's a counterintuitive puzzle, Bloodlines. Without the fire axe, this would be going a good deal worse for me. But keep in mind the fire axe has a melee requirement of 5 and our melee skill is 1. So this will do the job, but we're not seeing the fire axe's true potential. Phew. I saw a light switch flickering near the main entrance. Not really sure what that's about. Anyone know? Oof, I should probably get a drink on my way back. Oh, speaking of blood, let's go check up on Bloody Mess back at the Haven. We'll do that right now. And maybe there's something new on Minnesota Nightly News. $150, a wad of money left lying around. Funny, that. Art criticism or vandalism? Paintings on display at Santa Monica's Gallery Noir were slashed by an intruder who evaded capture by security. The paintings were estimated to be worth nearly a quarter of a million dollars. They were to be auctioned in a charity event tomorrow night. A wow, news does travel fast. I didn't evade capture, I just Rhode walked Island out. Scratching their Nicely heads. done from the Your assistance was much appreciated in regards to the werewolf away. blood. The Please find your payment in the mailbox if you haven't already done so, SL. The marine biologists that have examined the monster have commented that they have never seen anything like it in the cephalopod family before. They speculate that it could be from a yet undiscovered family. $150. So much for compensated accordingly. I took a bit of a beating with that blood guardian. Hope you've been eating your donuts, Arthur. Lovely evening. Good evening. Claim the flesh that they lent their sorry progeny! Crab nipples for everyone. Hello, LA. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Yes. I hope you've slipped into something comfortable. 
If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to the Devil Knight. The only girl who will spend the night with you. See you later. Stop doing that. Mother should be too pleased. This rain is the punch and sewage of hell. Seeping into the cracks of this putrid purgatory. I sure hope Jeanette appreciates all this slashing we did for her. Slashing and wasting away in this elevator. Sacrifices were made, ma'am. You. What were you thinking? I... The museum. That was my event. Did you think I wouldn't find out? Wait. Shut up. I thought I could control my sister as long as Tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others, but how dare you! I don't know what your lips are saying. Jeanette claimed you did it for her, but let's say I believe you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call off the feud. Yes, and I have brought you ghostly bobble and words, sweet darkness. Excellent! I'll take that. However, there's only one problem. If Tongue gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. I side with Shia, the greatest power, command me, dark daughter. Vandal's groveling kind of put me off groveling. I tire of the mendacities of Janice's daughters. How might this deed be done? I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious satin sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her, and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner, to reconcile. But I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. Roses for her when they should be stones, dear Baron. Shall I show her a sunrise? Let's not offer to kill her sister. This is more convoluted than my psyche. I will find her, and then we finish this. I want to see my sister. Yes, I'll call it off once I've spoken with her myself. Just do what I ask. Done and done. After I fish through your sister's emails, I mean. Following up on, Santa Monica is my city. I'm disgusting? I'm not the one that let that Nosferatu touch me. Can't you see that he is trying to tear us apart to take over the city? How could you? And now my gallery too? I'm gonna show you a little something, Jeanette. The sun. You know, I would expect tighter pros from trees, but that is indeed a threat. Wow. Anatomy of a circular argument. Tongue is disgusting and you let him touch you. You're the disgusting one. I'm the disgusting one? I'm not the one who let him touch me. Boy. Fine though, we'll I'll head to the you. diner. Secure the piece, maybe pick up a Troika special, then on our way to Tongue, right? Oh, we got a quest update. Spiritual release. By delivering the pendant to Therese, you have given her the means to free the spirits from the ocean house, thereby delivering the unfortunate wife to her eternal reward and her murderous husband to his eternal damnation. Unfortunate wife, yeah, that's one way to put it. Bad blood, Therese has asked you to go to the Surfside Diner to meet with Jeanette and assure her that Therese does not mean to harm her. Hello. Beware the shoddy, Jack said. I will beware the shoddy. I don't care who I kill first, so long as it's all of you. Oh, they're killing each other. Shit, thanks for the assist, homie.
Mm, happens sometimes. Hey, stop, man! Sorry about the feed fail noise, by the by. Dude watching me drain this guy dry. Now you gotta go too. Fine. You saw nothing. Hello? I'm terribly sorry about that. My sister was just furious about your refusal to take part in her design. So she sent those men to kill you. But I'm going to make sure it never happens again. Drop by. We'll take care of this time. <laughs> She's crazy! Help! Sibling rivalry. Therese called you and told you that the diner was a setup by Jeanette. She offered to call off the feud once she deals with Jeanette. Go and see her at the asylum. We made quite a mess here. I should probably go. Hey, baby. Need Your offer of gonorrhea is denied, ma'am. This isn't where I parked my car. You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seem promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now I'm going to make sure she never double-crosses me again. Don't listen to her. She'll kill us both. Save me and I'll help you find Bertram, I swear. Shut up, Jeanette. I warned you to stay away from Tongue. He's turned you against me. I always looked out for you, but you couldn't stand my success. You had to meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this, but you forced me! I wasn't sticking my fingers in anyone's pie, dear sister. Of course you weren't. Just like you weren't working with him. Is it any different than the way you treated father? Father? Oh, Therese. You poor deluded dear. I treated father exactly the way he deserved to be treated. And he treated you like a... You don't say a word about father. Your heart still belongs to daddy after all these years, eh, sister? At least he loved me. You take that back, you bitch! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? What strange fate twists befall us? Sweet darkness? Ivory princess? From where this hateful quarrel? Isn't it obvious? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! Do you realize that despite her condition, she still... fornicates with kind, no less? So despicable. So unclean! You're a talk, dear sister. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how depraved the Baron of Santa Monica can be? Shut up, Jeanette. You'd love the world to think you're a saint. When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear Father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he... Don't finish that sentence, or you're dead. Do not let her exhume your past, Dark Mistress. Please continue, Ivory Princess. Both sides need to cease this conflict. Don't you want to hear what happened? How she became the pillar of the community she is today? I shut up! Know. Just shut up! Stop it, Ivory Princess. Go on, Ivory Princess. Become mute both mouths. Cease this quarrel. Don't try and stop me. I've had to overlook her treachery, her seduction, relations with my enemies, and the consequences of it. But I won't endure her any longer. Endure me? Dear sister, you've done everything you could to smother me. You'd love to bury me in your closet, along with all your other skeletons. I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me, when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taken care of me? You've done nothing but keep me down. Blame me for every mistake. Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? No, sister. You've had it coming since our last sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't for me, you would have never survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life, 
and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Does the Dark Daughter speak truth, White Mistress? She owes you nothing, Dark Daughter. You must learn to live in the same skin. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. You were a sticky little thorn from the beginning, White Daughter. Yes, the Dark One called down the Reaper on me. If you could learn to join hands, think of the strength you command. I don't think that's possible. How could I ever think to trust her again? Trust me? Who could trust you after what happened with Father Dearest? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated that he loved me. You disobeyed him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. What of Janice, White Mistress? What of Janice, Dark Daughter? The past is a worn garment. Dispose of it. Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there, and she saw me lying with him, and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot, and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. I don't believe your hollow words, white daughter. A dark deed for the dark daughter, not to believe. History's shadow need not fall on you both. Why? How will this time be any different? Two sides of the same face cannot live apart. Cannot you see? You live in the same skin. You're crazier than I am. There is no difference until you both lay smoking. Work together and your power will more than double. Therese doesn't like to share. Jeanette's irresponsible. She's undependable. A venture like mine requires class and distinction, which is something a pigtailed, face-painting harlot does not lend very well. You do have a way with words, sister. You're right. I'm not in the same class, am I? I mean, murderers are so respectful these days. White mistress stand not in the way of the Dark One's plans. Destroy each other, daughters of Janus. <laughs> Dark One, let the light carry more of the burden. Can't more responsibility. See, so that she can ruin every opportunity I give her? Of course. You're the only one who can secure zoning permits and shake hands. I'd never be able to keep up. White mistress, stand not in the way of the Dark One's plans. Die. But I only do it for attention and out of love. You do it because you're vindictive and jealous, and you deserve it. Run this house as a family, and you both may unlive another day. If she would stop treating me like a child. If she would start behaving like a rational adult. Was there never a time when you looked each other in the eye? Yes, there was a time. When I was a child, I didn't have many friends. I suppose Jeanette was the only one. We never did get to go out of the house much. Father wouldn't allow us. He said we'd get hurt, so we stayed inside and we imagined our own worlds. And we spent so much time there together, ruling over those places. Those were happier times. <laughs> Before we grew apart. You don't really wish to become an only child? I never did. No, I guess I don't. Jeanette, if I were to give... Offer you equal control in Santa Monica, would you quit consorting with Tongue? I'll stop working against you with him. But since I've got him in my pocket already, there's no reason for me not to pay him a little visit once in a while, when he can be of use. That's not a bad plan. There's just one more thing. I want to be in charge of Santa Monica, but only publicly. I want you to continue to convince others that our relations are strained. That way, we know who our enemies are. I agree. Give me Boomstick, Dark One. Take it. I'd hate to look at it again and think of what almost transpired. I suppose now that Jeanette and I have settled our differences, I'll call off the feud with Tongue. Bertram's hiding in an empty oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him to expect a visitor, and I'll ask him to be extra nice. I must disturb the worm. Farewell. We share the same madness, daughters of Janice. Farewell. You're Please give Santa Monica's now. regards to the prince. And keep your tongue tied about what happened tonight, or we'll have to kill you. So, who locked the bathroom door? I guess we'll never know. Bad blood. You went to the diner, but... Sibling rivalry. You managed to persuade the Vorman quote-unquote sisters into coexisting. They have called off the feud with Tongue. 
Collectively, that entity is now known as Tourette. Explosive beginning. The feud has been called off. Hung is in an oil tank not far from the asylum, aka hiding in turbid liquid. You must meet with him and get him to show you a way into the warehouse so that the explosives can be set. But before we do that, let's handle Nox's bullshit. Ha, huh, the guard sensed our presence. Or he's just been standing in that hallway on a meth bender for like two days randomly yelling out, Can't hide from me! Wonder if I can follow up with Vandal about the queen bitch. Need a fix? Dialogue option 2 is courtesy of our benevolent patch overlord. It allows us to do something you'd ordinarily do as a consequence of having Vandal cut you off for saving Lily. Here's a tip. If you want to do that side quest, pick it up from Vandal before talking to Gimbal for a bounty for the hunter. You'll get a surprise humanity neutral option, which also comes courtesy of Mod Daddy. If you're reading this, you are not dead. Show us what you know, buddy. Cadaver's password, cowbell. More, please. From V. Locker 3A, October 24, 2004, changed by Wes. Wes being SMMC's pathologist in chief, if I remember correctly. Subject died from heart failure. Personal items in storage B. Must have been a sailor from the looks of that anchor tattoo. Or maybe he was just really into anchors. I'm guessing he saw something that literally scared him to death. Free ring. Foxy Box's key. It's just a key, there's not much to say about it. Alright, look, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna goose that guard one more time. Clearly, I did not think this one through. Alright, buddy, it's been fun. And now to Foxy Boxes. What is a Foxy Box, you might ask? Well, the TOS prohibits me from explaining, and I don't suggest using a search engine either. You've been warned. Clearly an office, someone loves their whiskey, and a laptop. <laughs> Temple of Golden Virtue Progress Reports. Nice OPSEC, buddy. Reports, also totally unprotected. You're in for it now. October 23rd, 2004. The day before Virgil Crumb's entry at SMMC, by the way. P9 Observation Report 4. I have drawn the attention of a newcomer, an agent of the Prince, who has discovered the corpse of Virgil Crumb. Damn, must be a fast typist then. I know very little about this individual, but they seem much more resourceful than most Kenites I have observed. I will prepare myself in the event that our paths cross because an altercation seems imminent. If I do not survive, let my last report state that Santa Monica is ripe for the taking. We'll find little resistance if we come in force. Well, on one hand, he's an agent of Asian vampires who want to take over Santa Monica. On the other hand, he gave me a compliment. Ah, well. Hey, thanks for the compliment. Aw, look at you all hippity hoppity. He also has a crossbow he'll fire from a distance. And it's a real pain in the ass, so let's prevent and avoid that. Oh, my God. 
course, whatever he's fighting with at the time of his death is the item he's going to drop. I prefer the crossbow, but the blade is fine too. Let's go tell Nox. Cemetery runoff, congealing at the door. Move. Uh, not interested. Lady, I will ignore you so hard that you will begin to doubt your own existence. Yo, dude, you do that thing yet? The life eater has enjoyed his last meal, and you should make this disappear now. Right on, man! Yes! Hey, I'm sorry again for what happened before. I still haven't heard anything from Bertram, but... No, I'll let him know about how good you did and, and about how you were cool about everything. And, and yeah, oh man. The life eater was a thing of death and shadows. Bertram said it's like a vampire, but different. You know, it's like what they have in China instead of vampires. He said lots of them have been coming to California for some reason. I don't know. Fare thee well. You might think, what a rip. No reward? It's See, but the there is where you're wrong. The reward is never having to see Knox again. Friends, if you ask me, it's the best damn reward in the game. Time to talk with Tong. Look who finally made it. Thought you'd never find me, huh? It festered in your brain that I looked for you? I've gotten good at knowing when I'm wanted. Nasty dude. Nasty dude? Hey, I may not be a looker, kid, but you better start showing some respect, because I could squash you like a freaking bug if my panties get all bunched up. You got it? The world is shown to me even when I'm blind. No, your nastiness was shown to me by the little golden ghoul. Aw, oh, shit, I'm Alcavian. And you ran into Knox, too? You guys must have had quite a conversation. Not a working brain cell between the two of you. Fuck you. Oh, well. Bertram Tongue, the nasty dude. The one and only. But don't bother with the introductions, Fletchling. I know who you are. Then you know more than I do. News travels down the Kindred Grapevine like wildfire. And that courtroom spat between LaCroix and Nines Rodriguez is a juicy little morsel. And you in the middle. <laughs> How interesting. And survive I did. <laughs> oh, you did, did you? Well, I wasn't worried. So why did you need to find me? What did you need? I seek a strange house of wares, oh nasty dude, for the winged one, you know? Oh, never mind. The warehouse, though. I've been watching the place. The Sabbat has a bunch of low-life humans working day and night to move stuff through there. There's some major staging going on. Only warm bloods infest the house of wares? Can you put me in the house? Secret sorrow and sickness. Tell me of the Sabbat. The Sabbat? Jeez, you are green. It's like this. We're all monsters, like it or not. I'm not going to say the Sabbat are the evil vampires, because none of us are the good guys here. But the Sabbat, they glorify their monstrous nature. They refuse to hide it and go out of their way to show it. They're also brainless and reckless. They have a life expectancy of a vampire fruit fly. What of the hapless humans? As far as I can tell, the humans seem to know the score from the way they've been talking. I think most of them have aspirations of joining the next graduating class of shovelheads. Ugh, losers. Do they know of their dark masters? Yeah. The Sabbat like everyone to know just who they're dealing with. So if you get in there and have to bust a few heads, don't feel bad. Think of it as upholding the masquerade. Can you bring me there with shoes of air and feathers? Yes, I can. Just tell me when you're ready and we'll leave. Once you're there, however, you're on your own. You'll have to get into the place and plant the explosives in the middle office to take the whole structure down. We're ready. 
light the way for me, your dudeness. It's weird to me that it took calling him nasty dude for Tongue to realize we're Malkavian. Was it festered in your brain that I looked for you, not a dead giveaway? At any rate, welcome to the House of Wares. Took long enough, right? We're going to be going in stealthily. So Tongue said not to worry if we need to bust some heads. The humans know they're working for Sabat. So think of it as upholding the masquerade. There's a bonus objective here. In the base game, and accordingly the base unofficial patch, the bonus objective is plant explosives without killing anyone. Since that really doesn't make sense, in the unofficial patch plus, that's modified to plant the explosives without being seen. That homeless fellow doesn't count for purposes of being seen, by the way. So we can kill freely, but we won't. Yo, what the fuck is going on here tonight? Moccas is all in everyone's face and shit. Didn't you hear? A new shipment came in, some pretty serious hardware. Yeah, I heard. But what the fuck? We get that kind of shit in here all the time. What's so different about tonight? I don't know. Marcus is tense as a motherfucker. Maybe you heard something. Like what? Like I don't know, but keep your fucking eyes open. And someone better tell those clowns in the freight house to quit playing cards before Marcus comes out and starts peeling fucking caps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you. Reminder, we're Malkavian with level 2 of Peace Gate. So long as we remain crouched and don't touch anything, we remain relatively unseen. But as we saw at the beach house, touching things is kind of a fluid concept. I could probably sprint this leg, but we'll err on the side of caution. I'm going to obfuscate before dropping. You can be seen dropping down. Rare, but it happens, and we have the tools to avoid it. Planted Astralite without being detected. Hell yeah. Now we just have to leave, and I'm not going to stealth. Hauling ass is more fun, after all. Stop, man! Whoops. Where you going, man? Nowhere, man. Damn it. Nice. Ow. Sheesh. The warehouse. Your handiwork, I presume? 
It wasn't me, it was my evil twin. Didn't you see the goatee? Explosions always remind me of my childhood. I like to blow things up. Have you ever been exploded? Ah, werewolf. <laughs> Not experienced much in the creatures of the night, are you? For future reference, you might keep in mind that werewolves aren't in the habit of introducing themselves. No final death for me? Are you the big bad wolf? Die. I see my reputation for once does not precede me. My name is Beckett. I haven't been following you per se. We've just coincidentally been at the same places at the same time, for different reasons. So sorry if I unnerved you. Tell me, have you by chance seen or felt anything strange since your embrace? It didn't connect the dots very cleanly, but the wolf we saw in the distance at Santa Monica Pier, apparently that was him. I see dead people on the beach. Their blood was thinner than water. Let's start there. Your bloods, they're a fascination of mine. They are considered a weaker, more human-like kindred, hence the name Thin Blood. But they are sired, same as any of us. I've heard a large concentration of them live in this city. They're one of the reasons I'm in Los Angeles. I see dead people. A ghost? Hm. Quite ordinary. I generally pay wraiths no mind. All but a few are willing to give up their secrets. All I care to share. Most of my contacts here report sensing something unusual in the night air. Like a sense of dread or pressure. But I'm not a native to these parts, so I can't tell if it's irregular. And since you're still fresh, perhaps you're not attuned to it. Pleasure meeting your acquaintance, but there are rumblings for me to discredit. We shall, I'm certain, meet again. Or never again. Good night, young one. And be careful. You're very likely being hunted by the Sabbat. Goodbye, wolf. Since we're at a load screen, quick out of character moment. Tourette told or asked us not to reveal her, her secret, their secret, and Bob, being Bob, is going to take that to heart, to the extent the poor guy can maintain any secrets. If you're a non malk character, here's how that disclosure would go. She's undoubtedly Malkavian. Or should I say, they are undoubtedly Malkavian? And for a less trustworthy Malk, here's how that disclosure would go. Something to look forward to, eh? Just so you know. Now back to our playthrough. Nice work, fledgling. I felt that explosion a mile away. It's all over the news, too. Man, there's going to be some pissed off Sabat just howling for blood tonight. <laughs> Do you know Beckett, the noble savage? Beckett? Well, I know of him. Why? We traded words. The dark voices told me he was near. No kidding. Huh. Must be something major happening if he's in town. Beckett is a historian of sorts. He's unearthed more vampire lore than anyone. Well, that's all Beckett does. Seek the truth behind our condition. You are truly nasty licious. Farewell. You better get back downtown. Prince LaCroix is going to want to hear all about this victory. The yellow submarine is waiting. Let it wait. Pardon me, fellas. We really should top up. I'm famished. Hello, L.A. You're up way past your bedtime. <sighs> Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Dead of Night. Use a cab to travel between cities and other distant locales. I just might. Before we head off, we really should stop hey, back at the Haven and check up on breaking me. news. And then after that, what the hell? Sabat! Sissy.
Alright then, news and then a follow up. Art criticism or vandalism? Paintings on display at Santa Monica's Gallery Noir were slashed by an intruder who evaded capture by security. The paintings were estimated to be worth nearly a quarter of a million dollars. They were to be auctioned in a charity event tomorrow night. Actor Ash Rivers is lucky to be alive after his car crashed into the gate at Parasite Studios earlier tonight. Witnesses say that they were shocked when the Negative Zero star emerged unscathed and apparently unfazed by his high-speed accident. Rivers' agent released a statement stating that Rivers' crash was due to a mechanical problem and that the studio is not pursuing legal action against Rivers for the trademark gate's destruction. Miraculously, this is the second crash Rivers has escaped unharmed in the last year. A massive explosion rocked Santa Monica tonight, sending several fireballs into the sky and prompting a lockdown of the warehouse district Ooh. where the explosion took place. Early reports suggest that the warehouse destroyed in the explosion was being used in a weapon smuggling operation and that the source of the detonation possibly came from you. <laughs> Stay tuned to Channel 3 for further updates. A robbery gone bad at the Surfside Diner left several dead after the attempts by the would-be robbers were thwarted by a diner patron turned vigilante. Witnesses saw the vigilante run from the diner after they were alerted by the sound of gunfire inside. Police have stated that vigilantism will not be tolerated and that they know it was you. It and was me. On the Elizabeth Dane. The ghost ship was towed into county waters off the port of L.A., where police are searching for evidence of the crew and whether the ship was being used in drug or terrorist-related smuggling. Coast Guard search parties are still patrolling the area where the Dane was first spotted, though the fate of the crew is still unknown. Our top story tonight, a derelict ship found floating 10 miles off the Los Angeles coast earlier this morning was towed into the port of Los Angeles a few hours ago. The ship was spotted around midnight by fishermen who contacted the Coast Guard after their attempts to hail the ship proved futile. Coast Guard officials are releasing very little information right now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Dame. No word as of yet as to the whereabouts of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Dame to assist them in their search. We'll have more on this story as it breaks. A massive Lots of breaking news. We got the, the Elizabeth Dane Island stories in reverse, and we are uh, famous. Wow, there's some police outside Gallery Noor. Let's rubberneck, shall we? Crime scene. Gonna have to ask you to step back, please. Murder most foul? Ah, some lunatic broke into the gallery and slashed up the paintings. Everyone's a critic these days, huh? Lunatic. You are good, detective. I am gone. <laughs> and with that, let's head downtown. We've earned it. <laughs> 